Good morning. My name is Harry Craighead, a bond servant of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we welcome you to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. Today we're going to talk about a person or thing that is completely different or reverse from someone or something else. Inverts, counterparts. We're talking about opposite. Grace is the very opposite of merit. Grace is, isn't only undeserved favor, but it's favor shown to the one who deserved the very opposite. The Bible recognizes no faith that doesn't lead to obedience, nor does it recognize any obedience that doesn't spring from faith. The two are at opposite sides of the same coin. Faith, which is trust, and fear are opposite poles. He that has his trust set upon God doesn't need to dread anything except the weakening or paralyzing of that trust. God bestows his blessings without discrimination. The followers of Jesus are children of God, and they should manifest the family likeness by doing good to all, even to those who deserve the opposite. Yes. Grace is the, oh, excuse me, to take with us. God develops the fruit of the Spirit in our lives by allowing us to experience circumstances in which we're tempted, tempted to express the exact opposite quality. There are so many things and or items that we, should, we would consider to be opposite in this world and in our faith. The opposite of sight and feeling is faith. The opposite of light is darkness. The opposite of up is down. The opposite of envy is celebration. Satan is not God's opposite. God is sovereign in every way and is in control over everything, including Satan. Anything Satan does, God allows. God is eternal. Satan is a created being and will be thrown into the lake of fire for eternity at an appointed time. Yes. We are to consider ourselves dead to the values of this world and alive to Christ. We now aspire to a way of life demonstrated by Jesus, which is a complete opposite of this world. While functional means it's in proper working order, dysfunctional is it's broken, not working properly unable to do what it was designed to do. Every day we're faced with a decision. Will we respond to life's circumstances according to God's word, or are we dysfunctional, living opposite of God, that is, living like the world? The main opposites in the Bible, of course, include good and evil, the battle of right against wrong, the age-old struggle of good against evil still rages. But these are not equal opposites, and good will prevail. Other Bible opposites include light and darkness. Which will you walk? The word light in the Bible often has the spiritual sense of that which brings enlightenment to those in spiritual darkness. Thus, Jesus in his message are called light. Amen. Wisdom and foolishness. The Bible compares the wise with fools. Wisdom and foolishness are among the most important Bible opposite. Mm -hmm. We question, we ask the question, what makes one wise? knowledge and ignorance. Learn Christ or know nothing. You can know God and his will for you or you can be ignorant of the truth about God. 
is your heart in the state of knowledge or ignorance? Mm. That's a question of absolute first importance. Remembering and forgetting, living in the past. People say you shouldn't live in the past. However, in our relationship with God, the past, present, and future are all one. Amen. Remembering Jesus is living in the past, but forgetting Jesus is destroying your future. Character development always includes a choice, and temptation provides that opportunity. The power of the Holy Spirit is completely opposite to the world's power. The power of the Holy Spirit gives God's children the ability to serve His purpose for their lives. The Holy Spirit's power is unlike any other in the world. Only the power of the Holy Spirit can transform us, re re relieve our guilt, and heal our souls. Yes. When we generally believe and obey Jesus, His sacrifice is applied or credited to us, washing away our sins and guilt. Our works, however, are what will prove the genuineness of our faith. Yeah. Just as the Israelite sacrifices of praise and thanks would demonstrate the sincerity of their hearts. Our lives will be opposite when we truly repent and are converted. But it's you who decides whether you will be forgiven or face God's wrath. It's you who decides where you want to spend eternity. Yeah. God offers you the opportunity to re repent and be saved, but the choice is yours, and there's no opposite to that. Amen? Amen.